Hey everyone, back to tonight with chapter uh, 13 of Second Kings, and this is what it talks about. It's called, uh, Je it's called Je uh, Jehaz reigns in Israel. And in the 23rd year of Josh, the son of Ahiaz, the king of Judah, Jehaz, Je uh, the son of Jehu, began to reign over Israel and Samaria. He reigned at 17 years. He dealt with evil in the sight of the Lord and followed the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Which he made Israel to sin, so, uh, he, he did not depart from them. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he gave them continually into the, into the hand of Haziel, the king of Syria, and to the hand of Benadad, the son of Haziel. Then Jehoahaz sought the favor of the Lord, and the Lord listened to him. For he, saw the, for he saw the oppression of Israel, how the king of Syria oppressed them. Therefore the Lord gave Israel a savior, so that they escaped from the hand of the Syrians, and the people of Israel lived in their homes, as formerly. Nevertheless, they did not depart from their sins of the house of Jeroboam, which he made Israel to sin, but walked, but walked in them. And then Asherah also remained in Samaria. For there was not left to Jehoahaz an army of more than fifty horsemen, and ten chariots, and ten thousand footmen. For the king of Syria had destroyed them, and made them like the dust at, uh, yeah, like the dust at, at threshing. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoahaz and all that he did in his might, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Jehoahaz died, and they buried him in Samaria, and Josh his son reigned in his place. Je uh, Jehosh reigns in Israel. In the 37th year of Josh king of Judah, Jehosh the son of Jehoahaz began to reign over Israel and Samaria. And he reigned 16 years. He also dealt with evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart from all the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, which he made Israel to sin, but he walked in them. Now the rest of the acts of Josh and, and all that he did, and the might with which he fought against Amihaz, king of Judah, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Israel. So Josh died, and Jeroboam sat on his throne, and Josh was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. The death of Elisha. Now when Elisha had fallen sick with the illness of which he was to die, Josh, king of Israel, went down to him and wept before him, crying, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and his, and his horsemen. And Elisha said to him, Take a bow and arrows. So he took bow and arrows. Uh, then he said to the king of Israel, Draw the bow, and he drew it. And Elisha laid his hands on the king's hands, and he said, Open the window eastward. And he opened it. Then Elisha said, Shoot, and he shot, and he... And he said, the, Lord, the Lord's arrow of victory, the arrow of victory over Syria. For you shall fight the Syrians in Aphek until you, have made an end, until you have made an end of them. And he said, take the arrows. And he took them. And he said to the king of Israel, strike the ground with them. And he struck three times and stopped. Then, then the man of God was angry with him and said, you shall, you shall have struck five or six times. And then you, then you would have stuck or struck down Syria. Until you, until you have made an end of it. But now you will strike down Syria only three times. So Elisha died, and they buried him. Now bands of Moabites, which is Jordan today, used to invade the land in the spring of the year. So Jordan and Israel was constantly at war pretty much uh, during the spring of, of, of every year. Um, and as a man was being buried... Um, Behold, a martyring band was seen, and the man was thrown to the grave of Elisha. And as soon as the man touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood on his feet. Now Haziel, king of Syria, oppressed Israel all the days of Jehoahaz. Of, of the Lord was gracious to them, and he, and he had, and, uh, had compassion on them, and he turned t towards them because of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and would not destroy them, nor has he cast them from his presence until now. When has it mean God's always going to protect Israel, even though they may sin against God? You know, God will not allow Israel to be destroyed. Yes, He will of course discipline them like He does to His children now in the Christians, but He will never allow Israel to be completely destroyed. So He will discipline them if you know if they continue in their sin, don't repent, like He does with His children, the Christians. Um, it says, uh, let's see here. It says, When Haziel king of Syria died, Ben-Hadad his son became king in his place. Then Jehush the son of Jehoahaz took again from Ben-Hadad the son of Haziel the cities that he had taken from, Je from Jehoahaz his father in war. Three times Jehosh defeated him and recovered the cities of Israel. So it's 13 pretty much. Um, you know, Jehoahaz reigns in Israel. 
then then Jehush takes over after Geo has it died, and then Alicia dies, and that's 2013. So I'll be right, I'll be right back here with 14 here shortly.